All right, like I mentioned to you, it's not uncommon for you to get a verbal offer. Never, number one, never accept an offer when it's first made, and especially if it's verbal. You need something in writing, okay? So if you get a verbal offer, the first question that I would have after I say, oh, this is great, is when can I expect a written offer, and how will it be sent to me? Because a lot of times companies will send it at X. Um, sometimes they'll send it in regular mail, so you need to know that, okay? When you get your offer package, you will have an offer letter, and they may also have some other documents that you'll need to sign, okay? So I want to just walk through this, this offer letter with you so we can talk about some of the components that make up an offer. Okay, so they tell you um, blah, 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 we're pleased to offer you this job, and then they break it down. So the salary for this position that they're offering, 63.5. Okay, so circle 63.5. Paid by weekly. Okay, so here's where you need to pull out your calculator. Because all throughout, you need to keep in mind what was that minimum that I said I needed to make. And I would even go a step further, figure out how much you need to make per month. Okay, because our goal is at Career Services, we don't want you to be house poor, as some people say. We want you to be able to pay your bills, but also really just love the fact that you have a TCU degree that's paying you what you deserve to be making, okay? So have that minimum in your head, and then break down the salary. So if they're paying you bi-weekly, how many weeks a year is that? 26, got it, okay. Now this is where the performance bonus comes in, and this should be specified in your offer if there is bonus. This one is up to, so we need to circle that, up to. So that means they could give you 1% or 0.5. But they're saying they'll give you up to 3 in the first year. Up to 3% of your gross salary. So that should trigger a question. What do I have to do? What metrics do I have to need to, to get that 3%? That's a question that you're asking before you start this negotiation. These are questions that you need to, to ask, okay? And then one question that I would ask, also, um, up to 3% of your annual gross salary paid quarterly by your choice of check or direct deposit. So again, what do I need to do to get this goal? Okay. Stock options. 500 acne stock options in your first year. So what would you do if you got this offer? What, what would you want to, what would you be inclined to do and go check? Stock price, right. Because if it's like in the toilet, then to me that's not a, it's not an incentive to make me say yes. That's just, you know, okay, well if they start to perform better, then that'll be a little extra incentive. But initially, probably not gonna cause me to accept this offer right away, okay? So there again, research. 500 in your first year, you're fully vested in four years at the rate of 125 per year. Okay. Does anyone know what that means? And if you don't, that's a question you need to ask. Don't be afraid to ask questions about every single detail of your offer because this is, this is your income and you need to know the money that's coming in and all of the other perks that come with it. Okay, benefits. This is pretty standard, but I guarantee you, people just do not pay attention to this at all. Like for example, they say vacation and personal days. Well, how many? How many vacation and personal days do I get? Because if you're not willing to bend on the salary, then maybe I can get another week of vacation because it's important to me to rest and to have fun. So that would be something that's negotiable, okay? So you need to ask, sick leave, what's the sick leave policy? And does that include um, if I have to go and care for an aging parent, okay? All of these things can affect your pocketbook if you don't, if you don't ask up front, okay? Because you could actually be in a situation where you need to leave work for something and it's not covered and then you're leaving and you're not being paid. You don't want that to happen, okay? Health, I'm not even gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, education assistance, 
How many of you are at some point looking to go back to school to get an advanced degree? Okay. That's a huge benefit. Huge. One of the benefits that TCU employees have after we've been here, I think it's three years now, um, our spouses and or dependents can actually go, go to TCU or any of the other private schools that participate in the National Tuition Exchange Program with the tuition waiver. So if I add that to my salary, but my daughter's six, so I'm not really concerned about that. She's got a ways to go. But if I had a 12-year-old and I started working at TCU and I was able to, I know what you guys are paying tuition to be here, if I were able to get that wage, 63000 is a good deal okay so you need to find that out what is the education assistance that they provide and how long do you have to be at the company before and after because there are a lot of people that they go through a program that their employer is paying for and in order to not have any penalties you have to commit to staying at the company for X number of years after you complete the degree okay something you need to know Child daycare assistance, that is huge. If you have children or planning to have children, and those of you that don't have children, I can tell you that having an employer offering to cover those costs, I would go work for them in heartbeat, okay? Um, so those are some of the components of your offer that, as you can see from this letter, they're not spelled out here, okay? But these are questions that you need to have, because it all goes back to what's gonna be that that breaking point for me. And if not my salary, but I can get some other things over here, then I can negotiate those things. All of these things, with the exception of health care um, and the medical benefits, all of these things might be negotiable. I know people that have negotiated stock options. Maybe instead of 500, you get 725. Okay. I know people that have accepted a salary, but they were able to get two more weeks vacation. Two weeks doesn't sound like a lot until you work 52 weeks a year. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay? Profit sharing, all of those things negotiable. Okay?